now that you have an approved NOI, you're going to be able to see from your home page 2017 EMPG. Now again, you've got a lot of different things in your list likely. And you can sort them. I sorted by applicant name, but you can sort how it, any of these column headers, or you can use the quick search and type in um, the name of the grant. In this case, I'm going to click right on 2017 EMPG. This screen, you've got a red banner going across. You hear me reference the color of the banners. Um, there are just so many different levels within this system that it's very helpful to know exactly where you're at to make sure you're in the right spot and be able to access the right information. So it's a red banner and it says account. And if you look at the breadcrumbs, this is the grant plus um, the applicant have created this account. At this point, I do show where if you're working on the application, you're going to need those documents that we talked about before. So if you haven't downloaded them previously and you want to access them from right here, this is how I'm going to show you to do that. You can write or hover over the grant breadcrumb and scroll down to the documents and right click, open a new window. You still have your account screen, but I have a separate web browser window that has all my grant document information. And if you're following along in the instructions, then um, I walk you step by step through that process. Make sure that when you're here, you want to make sure to go ahead and sort it. And you're only looking at your application forms. So you're going to need these documents. So things like the budget worksheet, the FEMA project worksheet, eligibility certification, application assurances and certifications, minority impact statement form, and the grant pre-award risk assessment. Those are all ones that you will need to download, open, and work on. I'm going to minimize that screen and we're going to proceed. So from your account, again, you're at the account. You can click the Projects tab along the left. And there's a sub-tab called Applications. It provides the list of applications under this account. Hopefully there's only one in there. You come over here to the list. Click on that. And you'll notice the header across the top has now turned blue and you have different breadcrumbs, right? Or you've added to the breadcrumb count, essentially. And you want to make sure this is exact, or it says something similar to this. You have project number, and then it's a system generated number. And then it should say the word application, dash, and then whatever this section right here that says ADLM 2017 EMPG, that should say whatever your notice of interest project title was. So whatever you typed into that NOI project title is what it should say across the top screen there. From here, we can dig into the form. You'll see the form along the top or along the left hand tabs here where you can click form. It's in red because there are required fields that need to be completed. This looks a little different depending on if it's HMEP or EMPG, but the concept is the same and the process in which you go step by step is very similar. So it starts out with the introduction. This is where it's pulled in the information from your notice of interest. 
the grant, the project type, see it says that pass through, the title, if for whatever reason you didn't like the name that you had given it in the notice of interest and you want to rename it, you can do so here. The description of the project, you can leave that just however you did or if you want to change it, that's fine. You scroll down, the primary contact, the alternate contact, the authorized contact. Now this can be the same one, um, the same person for all three of these. Um, if you have multiple people that you want to have um, access to this or you want to list them and they're not in the system, you can always click create new contact, other, and provide their information. If you just want them to um, be listed here, if you actually want them to be a user in the system and sign in and participate and be able to review your application, then contact us and have them actually register as a user. Just adding them into here as a contact just puts in their information. That doesn't give them a password or, or access. The application contains work activity and costs in the following areas. This is very important to make sure you select what you're intending right here. Um, doing this after the fact causes issues where I've had um, maybe a handful of uh, applicants actually lose information because they went back in after the fact and changed these um, after they had entered information into other forms. So. Just keep that in mind that you want to have a good idea of what, your, um, what categories you're applying for. For HMEP specifically, you'll only have the option of planning and training. For EMPG, even though there's an M&A and an other, um, you're not to use those. So you can select planning, and then you hold the control key. It instructs you here in case you get here and forget. You can hold the control key to select multiple areas. So if you want to do planning and exercise and organization, you can do so. And I don't know if you noticed, as I added or selected those work activity areas, along the left-hand side, work plans showed up into um, this list of forms to complete. So the introduction page here, this is where you tell the system what work activity areas are you planning to apply for, and it will build the forms in. The next section is um, the requirement for the Transparency Act. Um, nine times out of ten, I'd say, um, are all of the above tr statements true? Most people say no, I think mainly because the public does not have access to information. I think most of all of you, the public does have access to information about the compensation. But that's not for me to decide or Lisa to decide. Please read through that and um, answer that truthfully. After you have done that, you want to click Save before proceeding. 